Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today is Scrubby Sunday. Each week I'm going to either knit or crochet a dishcloth because dishcloths are fun. There's lots of fun patterns for them out there. And it also gives me a chance to throw in knitting every once in a while. So this week I did do a knitted dishcloth. I will put a link to the pattern in my description, but you really don't need a pattern for it. What I found was a pattern for dishcloths that you put in a basket, and they also had the basket as part of the knitting pattern. But I didn't do the pat the basket. I just wanted to do the dishcloths because when I saw them, I was like, oh, they look neat. And then when I actually read the directions, I was like, oh, this is like super easy. So you're just basically doing a certain number of stitches and then you're knitting every single row to get the garter stitch. So, but I do like the way this feels. It's a little bit on the larger side. So it would be easy to wash with this. It is cotton and it has a real really great feeling to it. it. It's textured because of the stitch, but it just really feels really nice. And I'm not sure if doing it in all of the different cottons would be like that, or if it was because I used the Karen cotton funnel cakes. I do not have the colorway on this one. This, this is one that I had in my closet that had only a little bit used from it, but I found it's one that I had balled up that had blues and whites in it. And that's the one I used, but I didn't have the ball band for that anymore. I do remember that it was the same as this. It was a Karen fu cotton funnel cake. It was just a different color. So unfortunately, I don't have the name of the color for you. But that's the one that I have to show for this week. It's a knitted one. Next three weeks... I am going to be doing crocheted ones because I found a fantastic pattern that I can't wait to try and it's a pattern for three of them. So I thought I'll just make them as a set since they're kind of showing them together as a set. And these, this is a free pattern from Yarn Inspirations. I will link this below as well. They call it um, Crochet Pot Holder Dinner Trio. So eggs on toast, cup of coffee, and a cherry pie. I thought those were really cute. So those are what I'm gonna work on for the rest of the month. At the end of the month, I do a drawing for a giveaway for all of the potholders that I made that month. So the ones that I made in January have already been given away and they're at a new home. And then everything that I make this month, the, the knitted one feels so good. <laughs> and the three crocheted ones from this pattern they will be in a giveaway at the end of the month. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and I'll see you tomorrow for Band Buddy Monday. Bye.